This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. I am an entertainer. The one and only ape father in the minivan. Wow! Okay, so <clears throat> there was a video that I actually, uh, Telly put out there. I, I shared it on my YouTube uh, community uh, page. Like if you go to the ape, ape father's YouTube station and go to community, the community section, there was a video on Lou where he claims that he, he used the term vaporized, uh, a.k.a. killed uh, seven people. <laughs> okay. Um, do I believe that this story is true? Absolutely not. I mean, you know, I know that you guys all love Lou. <laughs> I get it. But at some point, you have to use a thing called common sense, okay? It's very simple. If Lou openly in a public forum such such as YouTube admitted that he killed or vaporized seven people. I don't I don't remember where it was in the Dominican Republic, I think he said. Um, uh, the authorities will be all over him for this this is murder we're talking about, okay? They're going to they're going to take Lou into custody. They're going to question Lou and they're going to open open an investigation where he could be charged with seven counts of murder. Okay? So do I believe that story is true? No. Do I believe that anything that Lou says is true? No. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing that Lou has ever said on YouTube that is true. He has no secret connections. He didn't turn down tens of millions of dollars from corrupt banks. Uh, he doesn't meet with hedge funds in the parks with ducks and squirrels. And, you know, certainly he doesn't own two Teslas. Everything that Lou says is a complete lie. But here's the good news. You want to hear the good news? And I know you're not going to believe it. I'm not going to talk about Lou anymore. And they're, they're like, everyone's a shot. What? You got to be kidding me. A matter of fact, a lot of things are going to be changing um, after tonight's debate, uh, which is, by the way, in 10 minutes. Um, so I hope you all come. If you go to my YouTube station, once again, in the community section, you'll see I posted the link to tonight's debate. That starts at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Telly Station. Tonight is the Ape Father's last hurrah. You know, like the last of the Mohegans. <laughs> I'm done after tonight. That's it. I'm done with. You know what? Look, I tried protecting my ape family from Lou. That's what it was. I knew that Lou was basically a con man, a fraud, lying to the ape community. <clears throat> but I think that I've stated my case. I've stated my opinions on how I feel about Lou, and now it's time for me to drop it. That's it. I can't. There's no more point for me to continue it anymore. I've stated everything. I made pa parody videos where I said people knocked on my door offering me millions of dollars the way like Lou claimed he turned down tens of millions of dollars from corrupt banks. I'm done. No more talking about Lou. And also, no more talking about any other AMC YouTuber after tonight, after this debate. Um, that's it. I'm getting closure. Um, I'm finished with all the hate. I'm, I'm not, I, I will never, you, I know you don't believe me. I know, and I don't really have a good track record because I know I say things and then I go back on what I say, but, uh, but this time around, it's true. I just want to be the old ape father, you know, the jolly, happy ape father who makes you laugh, who acts like a clown, you know, who entertains you, who uh, plays the piano. And, you know, I don't want to do none of this no more. Because it's it's really, you know, it's my fault, honestly. You really want to know the truth. I should have never answered any of these people, these low lives. I should have, I, I, you know, I have a good heart. You know, I want to help people. I, I should have never, ever responded. Teddy Tendi Time asked me for help. I should have never responded to him. It's my fault. I, I should have just ignored him. I should have ignored Phil For Real. I should have never, and, and I know Phil For Real is going to act like, like it's not true. He's the one who reached out to me. He's the one. He 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 just can't admit the truth, Phil. For real, Phil. I didn't even know who you were, Phil. You were making videos about me, a hey, father. You you were making videos. Listen to me. You gotta switch to fidelity. Then I responded. Remember, you made the video. He said, "A hey, father responded." He was so excited. I didn't even know who Phil for real was. The problem is, I should have just ignored all of these people. I should have ignored Chad Clifford. I should have never helped Veronica Rosario. She told me her children were starving. I gave her three hundred dollars to help her family on her birthday. I should have just ignored Commander Thirty Five. I, 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 it's my fault. I take blame. I take the blame. But I promise you, and especially that uh, guy. What's his name? Ape Nation will. I should have never responded to that that psychotic lunatic. 
you know, telling me he wants to come to my house with his brother, uh, film him hurting my family and me and stuff. I should have, I be, mean, I should have never even bothered, you know, like responding to any of these losers because that's what they are, losers. But I did, <laughs> and it it really caused all of this this drama. It caused it because just back and forth nonsense. All of these losers are cl clout chasing. And do you know that Tendi Time has now reached 1,000 subs? He made a video today saying, I want to thank uh, the AMC8 family for, for reaching 1,000 subs. Correction, you should thank me. <laughs> Tendi Time should thank me for reaching 1,000 subs because all of his clout chasing with all the lies about me and my family brought him to 1,000 subs. So you're welcome, Tendi Time. And, and tell your wife she's welcome too because now you can monetize your YouTube uh, station courtesy of the A follow. But anyway, come to the debate. It's starting right now. Let's see. Three more minutes. 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll see you then.